you may call a judge my lord but that doesn't make him god right in the last 7 8 years the media is not covering other things that they should cover <laughs> so they have a bit more spare time god alone knows how many people i have defended who i i think are absolutely borrowed creatures uh, but you do it hmm. because it is your job hello and welcome to news laundry interviews today we are joined by senior advocate saurabh kripal thank you for coming to the studio saurabh thanks for having me abhinandan well saurabh has just released a book 15 judgments cases that shaped india's financial landscape that's the book it like the name suggests talks about 15 landmark judgments that had a significant and profound impact on the financial structure of of our country was it always like was did everything go to the law and was was law always in the spotlight of news or is it a is it a new thing i don't think it's a new phenomena at all mm-hmm. maybe to be a bit cheeky in the last 7 8 years the media is not covering other things that they should cover <laughs> so they have a bit more spare time right. and then they come to court and start covering that but that's on you not on the court yes that's that's on us what is it in the last like 25 years that almost like 60% of your book is you know 75 year country it's it's just from the last it's very simple it's uh, two things and recommended for judgeship is that the correct term is just yes, that's correct that's correct two times now but well then, i was recommended in 2017 5 years ago right. uh the supreme court collegium wrote to the government on four different occasions but finally recommended me only last year in november and the government has been sitting tight on my file ever since so no notification yet <laughs> okay i wouldn't be discussing uh, judgments <laughs> with you if that happened <laughs> what is your take on how judges are appointed uh, and like i said full disclosure you are an interested party and you have been recommended by the collegium it may surprise you i'm firmly pro njac and completely anti the collegium system corporate governance in india a country that wants to be the economic giant that it does have, have the potential of being uh, needs the kind of the kind of covid do you think we are there yet no way near it uh, i think we are very very far away from an ideal of corporate governance to be fair it's not as though there are many countries in the world which have a very good regulatory system but india is particularly bad there is very much a um, toxic mix of Isn't that something that works in America that even I can sue you know someone as big as the Walmart brother uh, you know family of and I have a chance of winning mm. I'm not saying I will but I have a chance here I won't even dream of doing that you could win in India as well the only thing is it's probably your great grandchildren who'd be uh, taking the fruit of that decree it establishes that privacy is a fundamental right and what does it mean for us now that it's fundamental right how has it changed my life that the court has said it's a fundamental right okay great now what do i have a right on my own self and my own autonomy uh, the constitution does not seem to say anything in those express words and that was the argument of the government uh, when the matter said when the petitioner said our right to privacy is violated they said well hang on there is no right to privacy in the constitution and in fact there was a eight judge bench in mp singh's case which had come in the 60s which said that there is no right to privacy this was in 2013 hmm. the delhi high court judgment had been reversed by the supreme court in the judgment case of kaushal and 377 had decriminalized uh gay sex so then came the puttaswami judgment no matter how good bad evil he is he has to be represented in court now i think raj court you know the bar association said we will not represent we will not represent here we will not represent does this worry you and is this a f- outcome of how news deals with it a client comes to you as long as there's some moral deep moral reason for you not to appear so that you can't do justice to that brief you must accept it god alone knows how many people i have defended who i i think are absolutely abhorrent creatures but you do it hmm. because it is your job that is how a judicial system based on a rule of law works because you understand that no matter what you say as long as something is covered in the media there will be inevitably an impact on the trial and people's mindsets will get swayed so these media trials are very dangerous because often uh, you said judges make mistakes uh, and i want to catch on to that with that as context uh, are you for or against the death penalty i am completely free mein itna hi milega to watch the full unedited interview you have to subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free because we don't run an advertising all our money comes from subscribers like you and that is how public service journalism is paid for all the studio lights the cameras all that you see on our website it all comes from subscribers so do subscribe 
click on the subscription link, watch all the interviews unedited and pay for public interest journalism.